Understanding Baby's Heartbeat During Pregnancy. Hello and welcome to our discussion today, an important topic related to pregnancy. What does it mean if I can't feel my baby's heartbeat? Understanding the nuances of fetal health can often be a complex task, but it's crucial to know some basic facts. Can you feel your baby's heartbeat? It's important to clarify that expectant mothers typically cannot physically feel their baby's heartbeat through their body. Rather, medical professionals detect the baby's heartbeat using specialized tools such as a Doppler device or ultrasound. Therefore, if you can't feel your baby's heartbeat, it doesn't necessarily mean there's a problem. How is a baby's heartbeat detected? Doctors or midwives typically use a tool called a Doppler device to listen to a baby's heartbeat during prenatal checkups. This handheld instrument uses ultrasound technology to pick up the echo of the baby's heartbeat and convert it into sound that we can hear. In the early stages of pregnancy, it might be challenging to hear the heartbeat with a Doppler. By around 12 weeks, it usually becomes easier to detect. However, every pregnancy is different, and in some cases, it might take a bit longer. When should I be concerned? If a healthcare professional is unable to detect a heartbeat using the Doppler device or ultrasound at a stage in pregnancy where it's generally expected to be heard, they may want to investigate further. This doesn't immediately indicate a problem. It could be due to the baby's position, the mother's body type, or other factors. However, if you notice a decrease in your baby's movements or if you have any concerns, it's essential to contact your healthcare provider immediately. They can perform necessary checks and tests to ensure the baby is healthy. Not being able to feel your baby's heartbeat is normal as the heartbeat is typically detected using medical tools rather than felt by the mother. It's important not to panic, but to always communicate any concerns you have with your healthcare provider. After all, it's better to be safe and maintain regular checks for the well-being of both mother and baby. I hope this discussion has been informative and helps alleviate any worries you might have had. Stay healthy and take care.